welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog how are you guys doing is everything good today was my first day going live you guys and it was so much fun it was my first time going live on youtube i'm still drinking my water by the way but it was so much fun i was able to do my mask monday live with you guys i did the mish indulge with you guys and i promised you guys that i was going to be vlogging today and that i wanted to style my hair today and i just finished rinsing off my hair and i have it in this towel which if you're like a new natural i wouldn't recommend using a cotton towel for your hair just because um it is more drier but we gotta do laundry so i don't have i have a microfiber towel right now so that's why i'm using this to be completely honest with you guys, I wasn't really in a filming mood. I was like, I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. But then I put a video, I got inspired, and then I was just like, let me do a fun makeup look. Let me do like a bold makeup look. And just, I had some fun just doing my makeup today. This makeup look, I was just casually playing around with some new color pop eyeshadow palettes. And I came up with this look. You guys know I love my like pinks and purples and stuff like that. They're just like my go-to. So um, this is the little makeup look. I didn't film it or anything you guys saw bits and pieces before obviously I turned on the camera but this is what my hair looks like this is actually my first time styling my hair with these little bangs situation that I have going on I keep looking at it I'm not used to it I don't know if I'm going to regret it I don't know if I'm gonna like it I don't know if I'm gonna love it I don't know we're gonna see it together so I definitely wanted to film like my first wash and go after cutting my hair my bangs all that stuff on camera so I was like, you know what just put on a cute makeup look feel confident feel good and hop on camera so that's what I did that's where we are now. My hair feels so soft. I will highly recommend the Meech, Meech and Dole. I'll insert a picture right here. It is so good. I love it so much and my hair needed it so bad. I actually left this in my hair for I would say about four hours. It is much later in the day. It's already eight o'clock so it's been a while since I last did my little live and um, my hair has been marinating in this deep conditioner for a while and it needed it. My hair has been very dry. These these past couple of days and that's because I said this on live so just in case you guys didn't catch the live I have been using the Aunt Jackie's ice curls gel and although it gave me really good results I used it way too much I used it like four to five times back to back and my curls were super duper dry I had to do an intense deep conditioner treatment I had to do an apple cider vinegar treatment I had to do a lot of things just to make my just to bring back the softness into my curls because they were feeling really dull and so today's wash and go is going to be very moisturizing just because I want to bring that moisture back into my hair so here's what I'm thinking of using I pulled out some products and I want to see kind of what I'm vibing with so I rem remember guys I love naughty deep conditioner oh my god I have like two huge bags that I still have to go through it sounds like somebody's vacuuming like Oh, that's probably what they're doing. The jelly. <laughs> they're probably vacuuming downstairs. But I am obsessed with Naughty. I love Naughty. It was so good. I have two bags upstairs still full of products that I need to see if that Naughty deep conditioner is in there because I forgot about that. And so this is their little leave-in spray that is also so good. I'm not going to put too, too much because I do want my gel to give me a good hold. And so after using this product, I'm just going to take my pattern brush. This is the pattern, kind of like Denman brush dupe so I'm using this one today because I can't find my other Denman brush I took it on my trip this weekend and I haven't fully unpacked so I think it's probably somewhere in the maleta still whipping out the big boy of sultanicals still love sultanicals I still use sultanicals is my camera dirty why do I feel like my camera's dirty Hold on. okay I hope that's better because my camera looks so dirty so using this to moisturize my hair this is a new one. Actually, haven't even used it. I probably should like dig out a smaller one, but whatever. It's fine. I have to go through this anyway. So I'm going to be generously applying this, but not too, too generous. Again, I want to make sure that the gel that I'm going to use is still going to give me a hold. And sometimes when you use too many moisturizing products, it weakens the hold of the gel because your hair is so moisturized. So apply this evenly on both sides. And I like to detangle my hair per section per product. So whenever I add a product, detangle, move on to the next product. And the reason why I detangle and brush it through is just so that I can make sure that every strand is coated with the product that I'm using. 
using. So last but not least, I'm gonna use the main choice do it for the coat do it fro the culture bold buttery gel. Another one that I've had in my stash for a while and I just haven't used it. I remember really liking it when I did use it. And the main choices gel work really well in my hair too. This one is actually black. I forgot about that. Has a really like slimy like consistency. And um, I forgot this is black. I wonder if you have like blonde hair if it would change it. I doubt it. But I don't know why I just thought about that. <laughs> so for the gel, I'm going to be just a little bit of heavy handed. Because again, I want hold. We're still in summer. And if you don't have enough product in your hair with this humidity, your wash and go will not last. So I am going to spin my brush and break up those curls and shake them, activate them. Sometimes when they're frizzy, I just go back one more time and kind of just do it again. And that's so much better, see? And then of course, separate and scrunch. Scrunch a few times, voila, beautiful. Guys, shorter hair is so much more easier to manage and I have been loving it. I had cut my hair initially, but then today in the shower I cut my hair some more so it's just slightly gonna be shorter. And I also cut some bangs, some like side bangs. So that's gonna be different too. So it's my first time styling that. Let's see if I can rock some side bangs and see if they look good because I did it in the shower. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did it in the shower. But yeah, repeating the process, just break up those curls shake them to activate and then a final scrunch one more time beautiful see so cute and i also did finger coils when i'm deep conditioning because i want to go for a very defined wash and go today not too defined because the more defined the more shrinkage but definitely a little bit more tamed and i want like i guess defined ringlets you know so i am literally just going to be repeating the process and we're going to be doing this throughout my entire hair same products same application same styling technique and that's pretty much what I'm doing I also love when I cut my hair because my ends feel so fresh and clean it's not like tugging or pulling or anything like that like it feels so nice and um, like soft <laughs> Oh my god, I have so much product on my forehead. Can you guys see that? I feel like my camera is too, like, high up. Hold on. Let me just clean myself. Of course, I'm using a white towel. <laughs> That's literally one of my husband's pet, pet peeves. Like, when I use white towels and I have makeup on, one of his pet peeves. Why do I feel like we're so high up? I feel like I angled the camera super high today. So sorry if the angle is a little wonks, a little wonks, but like if you have bangs, do you even do baby hairs? Like even if you have side bangs, but I feel like I have a little bit more than just side bangs, but. So my hair is styled, it looks good. I am ready to diffuse, I'm just going to jump right into diffusing because it's already late and I do not have time to air dry or anything like that. I'm not going to go outside anymore. I'm actually super sleepy. <laughs> so after I'm done doing my hair, I'm going to do like my night routine, clean up a little bit, and then I'm going to be just chilling in bed, probably watching something with my husband. We will see what time I finish. I'm going to go ahead and diffuse my hair. We'll come back, 
to see the results. I'm a little nervous. Again, I just feel like I went overboard with cutting so much stuff, but maybe it's not too bad. So see you guys when it's time to show you the final results. And these are my results, you guys. Let me know what you think. I'm about to give you guys the real breakdown right now. To be honest with you, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I think it's cute. It's a cute haircut. Um, I do think I went overboard a little bit right in this area. Um, the shrinkage is definitely real, so I probably won't use the diamond brush on this area right here because the shrinkage is insane. Like, my hair is so short and I also flipped it over to this side so it makes it look even shorter the way I initially cut it I cut it all kind of like this like I wanted the curtain bangs type of situation and so I would say that's the only thing I don't like about the haircut in general right um lengthwise I think it's perfect again I used the diamond brush, I finger coiled to do my deep conditioner, so I do have more shrinkage than normal, but I do like it. However, I don't like the product combination that I use at all. Like, I am probably going to be wetting my hair again tomorrow and doing something else. And I just can't pinpoint what product it is. I'm low-key thinking it could be the Can't Believe It's Not Butter. I've had this one for a while, but it was brand new and it doesn't smell bad or anything like that so I just don't know if it was like if it's like an expired product or what I don't know I can't figure it out but I don't like how my hair feels I feel like you guys when I tell you I'm literally like about to knock out like I'm so tired I was diffusing for about almost an hour okay like I layered heavy products but usually like diffusing it's my hair shorter it should have been done pretty quick and I was also diffusing on like warmer heat like on heat which I never really do because I don't obviously want heat damage but um I was interchanging them between like warm and cool shots and still it still took a very long time for my hair to dry I am also not obsessed with the results in terms of frizz there's a lot of areas you guys can't see it I feel like on camera according to my viewfinder like it looks really nice and polished but if you look in person there's a lot of frizz in certain areas and I had to go back and like wet the areas and reapply product to it and that's not what I want to do on a typical wash and go so I wouldn't suggest this combination together the naughty leave-in I love I love this one so much I feel like all of these products are really good but it just depends on what you cocktail it with because this cocktail just wasn't it for me me <laughs> me come Come. Come, yeah. Jump. Jump, Papa, jump. Jump. Yeah, you could do it. Jump. Jump, jump, jump. So, yeah. Not a fan of the combination. But if I turn to the side, like, I feel like it looks funny. Really have to work on uh -oh. blending it to my hair so that it doesn't look weird. The back is still a little flat because I didn't, like, fully separate my curls. But I don't think it's bad. I just don't like the combination. I don't like how my hair feels. And that's it also I won't be using the diamond brush on my bangs that's just gonna make my hair completely disappear my hair is still long it's just you know it shrinks up quite a bit especially diffusing diamond brush finger coiling forget about it so it's actually been a couple of days later and I am sitting here at my desk editing this video and originally it was just supposed to be part of a vlog but your girl talked a lot and I gave you a full step-by-step -step process on how I styled my hair and all that good stuff and the vlog ended up being super long so I just turned it into a hair video and here I am to kind of give you guys a little update and and this video so First and foremost, I was really trying to like this haircut, you guys. Like, I really was. It's been a couple of weeks. Well, not a couple of weeks. It's been like a week-ish and some change. And I have had a couple of wash and goes in between. Now, you know, I'm not mad at it because I did it to myself. So I am able to finesse it. I can do a hairstyle. I can do a half up, half down. I can tuck my bangs with some bobby pins. You guys will see in the next vlogs. But I don't like the haircut. <laughs> I definitely went overboard lesson learned so I'm going to be going to my hairstylist which is Ona and at the end of this month she's going to be shaping my hair which is what I feel like would help out this haircut a little bit more I cut a lot of the bottom pieces off but I never really touched the top because I'm too scared to like mess it up so she's going to shape it for me so that I don't have to be committed to just wearing my hair to the side I can wear a middle part and I'll have that fullness and that round shape so stay tuned for that because I will be vlogging 
my whole hair cutting and highlighting experience as I normally do. But yeah, I'm not a fan of the haircut. I was really trying to like it. As I did it more often, uh, it's just I just went too short and I do want to say though is that my hair looks better when I air dry it versus diffusing and if I do diffuse it I can't like scrunch up to make it look super short I have to kind of just hold it like this so it can go drying a little bit longer so it doesn't look weird once I get it shaped I'm sure that's gonna be fine and I'll be able to diffuse or air dry or whatever but for the time being for the month of August I am just going to be air drying my hair as much as possible so that is the update coming to you guys a little later in life and letting you know don't cut your own hair. I mean you can cut your hair just don't go crazy with bangs. I would suggest to do this dry. I don't know why I decided to do this on wet hair because your hair obviously shrinks and I don't know it was just one of those days being feeling very experimental and that was in the shower so if you're gonna cut your hair make sure you cut it dry so that you can see what you're cutting and not kind of guesstimate what you're doing so that was my mistake but nonetheless we are here it is hair it will grow back i will make it work as much as i can and yeah that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys comment the secret emoji i know i have not been saying that but comment the secret emoji which i'll post right here so you guys can be entered to my giveaways i will be picking a giveaway winner at the end of this month so stay tuned for that and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah. bye